The Minister of Transportation, Ruti Miyamechi, has urged Nigerians to exercise patience as the coronavirus is taking its toll on the speed of ongoing rail construction works. Amechi, while speaking at the recent inspection of the Wari Itakbe Rail Corridor, assured that the different rail projects will be completed on schedule, saying workers at the different rail sites have been reduced by 90%. He says President Muhammad Buhari is committed to delivering a modern rail infrastructure to Nigerians. This is the that they need 1,000 workers at the Duty Metal Station. They are using only 10. So when will you complete this with 10 workers per day? When you need 1,000 workers per day? The, the, if, I don't know how we will start because I don't know when. But whenever we start it, you will be requiring 10,000 workers. More than 10,000 workers, but still from Kaduna to, from Kaduna to Kano, 10,000 workers. From Lawrence to Ibaran, 10,000 workers per day. So many times we are them while trying to maintain social capacity. If you can't get this number of workers, if you get 1,000 workers, you reduce by how many percent? 90. So we're in trouble. We're all, we're all in trouble. But I want to take the position of the president. The fact that there is COVID does not mean we can't work. In fact, that's one reason why you see me on this track today. You are someone who is scared of COVID. I am. But then I also have to do my work as Minister for Transport. That's why we're here. We are all government. It's not an individual. It's not the president, not the minister that is government. Everybody is part of government. And if these things we are doing is not for president, it's for all of us, for all Nigerians. So it's our responsibility to keep it up. We should not vandalize them. We should not go and start stealing rail and slippers because uh, this infrastructure, our children and our children's children, we made them of grant and they enjoy the benefit. So let's keep it and keep it as our own. That's what I would tell them. They should cooperate and let this thing run. There's no need to recover whether you. If you vandalize it, you will call government money to put it back. So what we should keep what we have and ensure we maintain them. If the federal government had not been meeting their commitment, if they were not able to pay the IPCs raised by the contractors, I don't think we'll be here. So federal government did a lot, made sure that they committed themselves by providing the finances and paying the contractors on time. We paid their IPCs and that's why they never stopped for one day until for two and a half years we'll be here to complete all the session buildings, to complete the railway facilities yard by Julius Berger. And then the bridges, there are still some few bridges. We're going to see one now, which they also complete.